Hey guys, wanted to um, pretty much talk about the Niners and Cowboys coming up. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's going to be one of the best games this weekend. Um, I thought the Cowboys could face a challenge um, to us. Probably more than the Eagles at this point because if Jalen Hurts is really hurt, uh, hurt pretty bad, no pun intended, uh, we don't know how he's going to be. Uh, sometimes week one uh, buys, or sorry, not week one, but first round buys for the number one team sometimes is not a good thing. Uh, but in this case, it might be for them, but they have to face the Giants. And so I, I just think that uh, Giants with the division could be a hard-hitting game. Or it could be an upset there too. So I, I think I, this could be the toughest task, I would say, for the Niners. I thought last week was a good prep up for um, Brock Purdy for his first playoff game. Um, especially you have so many weapons, they all look fresh and, um, healthy. So hopefully the Niners going to dominate like last, um, year's game, even with Jimmy Garoppolo, I, I think Brock Purdy's playing better than Jimmy G. So I think Dak Prescott, he's an interview. He's been looking forward to this. I think the Cowboys want to, uh, get revenge at the Niners stadium. So obviously it's going to be very interesting and fun. Uh, I think there is a little bit of disadvantage for the Cowboys, I'll be honest, because they're um, short two days rest because they played that Monday. But they had the upfront rest, I feel like. Obviously, they got more rest um, on the f against the Buccaneers, which I don't think you would have needed that much rest against the Buccaneers the way they played. Uh, so that if things were reversed, I think it would have helped the Cowboys or made it more even in that sense. Um, what else is there? Which I think it helped for the Cowboys because they got to um, mentally get more preparation for the Buccaneers. So what else is there that I thought was very interesting? Um, I think it's going to be a real battle on the offensive and defensive line for both sides because you got uh, Boza. Uh, that's playing really well, trying to get the defensive player of the year. And then you have Micah Parsons playing really well. And the Cowboys are a very opportunistic team on uh, trying to take the ball, ball away from the uh, other opposition team. So uh, Diggs, I, I think he's a pretty good cornerback, but he takes a lot of risk. Um, same thing for Parsons. He's going to probably get to uh, – to, Brock Purdy, but he's facing Trent Williams, so he's probably going to be moving around quite a bit and stuff like that. Um, hopefully, Brock Purdy's going to be up for the task for it. Uh, it's, the weather's going to be very clear, so that should be another benefit for both sides. Um, I just think there's a lot of weapons for the Niners. Um, I just feel like even if the Niners lost, I feel like because I forgot what's the crazy stat, but I think 11 or 12 teams lost when they faced the Niners. Um, then the following week, they lost their game the following week because it was so physical. So I think the Cowboys, uh, one of the ways that they could possibly win is if they actually run the ball quite a bit. Uh, that is one way, but that is going to be really difficult. Because the Niners' defense, run defense is really great. I think if you're going to attack, I would go after their secondary. Uh, but obviously, C.D. Lamb has been struggling. I think they could have some advantage with the tight end. But they're going to be facing against one of the top linebackers. So, like I said, if you could take it over the top, if Dak Prescott actually has enough time, that's where, like I said, if he's uh, flustered and stuff like that. Mobile quarterbacks against the Niners is another thing that has Frustrated the team. Look at Stenham. He actually did really well against the Niners um, that way because he was mobile. Russell Wilson in the past was the same way. So those little shifty uh, quarterbacks or mobile quarterbacks are going to uh, be an issue if they don't tighten up on the defense. So overall, it just reminds me of the 90s uh, as a kid. It's going to be very fun but very nerve-wracking. Uh, I mean, it's Friday, and I'm – Excited, but yeah, very nervous about this game. It is one of the most expensive tickets right now. Um, 
for this game uh, because there are some uh, Cowboys fans actually in the Bay Area and California because, like I said, most of the fans were uh, growing up were either Cowboys fans, Niners fans, or Raiders fans that I knew. Those were the three teams mostly in that area uh, that I knew of and, and growing up. So, again, it's going to be very fun. Uh, hopefully you guys are looking forward to this game. Let me know which game you're looking forward to this weekend. I'm looking forward, again, to this game because, obviously, you can see I'm a Niners fan. I'm actually looking for, forward to the Bills and Bengals just to see how they respond. Third game, I feel like the Giants and uh, Eagles. And then the last game I'm lo looking forward to would be to see how Trevor Lawrence does. Um, but, obviously, I think the Chiefs will win. Um, quick picks. I think the Bills should win. Uh, and then, I don't know. It's really hard. It's really hard to beat the same team three times. But the Niners did it with Seattle. So I think the Eagles should barely beat them. Or it's going to be a close game. Or um, if, if, if they could blow them out, they're probably going to try to rest their starters and stuff like that. So they could get ready for the Niners if that's the case. But obviously they played the night before. Or actually tomorrow to think of it and then uh the niners yeah so um even if the eagles get one extra day of rest it's not going to make a difference at that point because you'll play the following sunday so uh now i think if the niners or cowboys have to travel to philly yeah that's going to be a long uh, flight especially for the niners but that's the only game that they'll have to tr really travel except the super bowl if they make it so very psyched about this game, um, and hopefully Purdy's going to be pretty good for this game, hopefully, uh, especially a uh, rookie uh, going against really good defensive line. I think there's a crazy stat for a team that's 11-game um, winning streak or something like that, double digits. They are 1-11 and against um, the spread during the playoffs, so... Go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Let me know which game you're looking forward to. What you think of this weekend's game, especially with the Cowboys and Niners. All right, thanks.